Ladies and gentlemen, what is up? It is your boy Steven here coming back at you again with another video. And today I have a special request from the 100th subscriber to make a video on how I make videos or more specifically the edit. And so this is going to be the intro and I'll do an outro later, but I'm going to show you how I edited this intro with my editing. So I wanted to start off by saying we're gonna do Windows Movie Maker for this intro because that's the software that I usually used. Um, Windows Movie Maker will open up uh, and I just open up and drop a video into it. Um, from here the Windows is gonna prepare your files. Make sure you always prepare your files because if you don't it's gonna take lag time. And to do that just go into File, Advanced, Prep Files for Editing and voila it's done. Um, from there I like to turn on waveforms, you can see the sound this way, it really helps with the editing. You can see uh, when your w words and phrases are going to close out so then you can prep that. Um, the other thing I do is on project go from widescreen 16x9 rather than the 4x3. Um, it will fill up your full screen that way and then on your YouTube videos or wherever you post them, you'll be able to see um, everything that you put in. The other thing I do here is basically I'm just listening to the uh, to the video and I'm just going to cut where my sentences end and where there may or may not be a pause just to clear the air. Dead air is never good in a video so I like to get rid of as much dead air as possible. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing for the next while is just chopping this up and getting rid of the dead air. Right, and there you have it. I have the end of the video right there. Uh, the last thing I do is I just make it full screen, play the whole video, and make sure there's no changes I want to do it. Uh, this one's good enough, um, so I went ahead and closed it out and uploaded it. That's the intro that you saw at the beginning of this video. Here's the same intro with me editing it in Premiere, though. Ladies and gentlemen, what is up? It is your boy Steven here coming back at you again with another video. And today I have a special request from the 100th subscriber to make a video on how I make videos or more specifically the edit. And so this is going to be the intro and I'll do an outro later, but I'm going to show you how I edited this intro with my editing. All right, so now I'm showing you how I did this in Premiere. Um, I'm basically going to drag the footage from the media browser into the actual timeline. And then I'm going to change the color just so that I can differentiate from the two of them. Uh, the cool thing about Adobe is uh, you can see everything in your timeline. You can have different layers and just makes it a lot easier to clip between the two. Um, so here I'm actually cutting down the footage. When I like to... Uh, cut the footage in Adobe, I do it on the fly. So what that means is Adobe is really cool because it will pretty much lock on to where you want to cut it. So I'll hit play, I'll listen to the video and see, kind of know where I want to cut it and then I'll cut it as the video plays. And I'll lift it up to the layer above and I do this throughout the whole, the whole footage. So I'm doing that real quick. Now so with uh, Adobe, if you just delete it, it'll leave a gap in the, the scene. So what you need to do is what's called a ripple delete. So I highlight everything and then I right click and I go all the way up to ripple delete and that just deletes the, the in-between shots that I don't want and connects everything together. Um, from there, I'm pretty much done with the edit. I could do some transitions or something like that. I did notice that the color was off on this. Um, so I started messing around with color grading it. I'm not a professional in color grading whatsoever, um, but I did my best, and so I want to include the intro. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of what they look like together. Ladies and gentlemen, what is up? It is your boy Steven here, coming back at you again with another video. And today, I have a special request from the 100th subscriber to make a video on how I make videos, or more specifically, the edit. And so this is going to be the intro, and I'll do an outro later, but I'm going to show you how I edited this intro with my editing. And there you have it. Uh, that's how I edit my videos. Uh, you saw the old way how I did it in Movie Maker, and you saw the new way as to how I do it in Premiere. A couple things I did include was music. I do music on both Windows Movie Maker and Premiere. Movie Maker is a little bit tricky. I can get into that later if you want. A Premiere, it's a cakewalk. <laughs> but 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you liked it, leave a like, hit the subscribe button. We gotta hit 200 now, because we already got 100. Until next time, remember peace, love, and happiness. Bye, guys.